three biggest issues facing the county in the next 10 years. Put your crystal ball to work. <laughs> well, the first one is trying to get along with Senator Eaton, that's all. <laughs> but it, as Senator Dunn has always said whenever anybody's interviewed him, what's it about? What's going to go on in the legislature? Money. And what else is it? You know, everything flows from the money. You know, if, if, you know, I live here, my family lives here. You know, I'm going to tighten down as, as hard as I can. I think these taxes are probably as bad as anybody. So uh, the budget, we just analyze that budget constantly. If somebody retires, takes early retirement, leaves for some reason, can we put this person in to another part? Can we consolidate? Uh, when I first came here, we had a health department. Uh, the person left, you have to remember, you are dealing with people. You're dealing with their careers. You're dealing with their life. You know, you're taking money out of their mouths. You know, so to put food on the table. And so we analyzed that. The person left. We got rid of the entire department. Um, that, that's what you have to do. Times are tough. You have an Obama-led depression. And you have to start looking at everything. Every penny. I don't know if you noticed, we did not allow the Sheriff's Department have self-starters in his vehicles. It was, it was a minor thing. We have a $16.5 million bid budget. I'll show it to you over there afterwards if you like. It was 530 bucks or something like that. That's in a $16.5 million budget. That's nothing. But we denied it. Um, yes, you got to look at everything. You know, you Run the place like it's your own place. Everybody's tight. You know, but nobody can afford the luxuries. So that's, that's what you got to look at. The budget. Everything flows from the budget. Uh, as Daryl said, that's the big thing. And now we got to find some money for these bug trees. We're working with the state. We're working with the feds. Senator Thune uh, had a bill that he's going to attach onto the farm bill. Thank you. Ten years is a long time. I'm not sure what the, the greatest things that we're going to have to deal with in the next 10 years if if I'm reelected but I know for the for the immediate future coming very fast is is continued growth from the oil development of north mm -hmm. just yeah. in the in the past few days I've talked to several people that said their companies have have started to move whole divisions from North Dakota into South Dakota mm -hmm. so it's it's already here you talk to the people in Deadwood that have the gaming businesses; they're they're loving it because it's um, they're they're getting activity from it. Um, the housing around here. I talked to several realtors today. They they said things are picking up. A lot of that that those sales are coming from people from North Dakota, and so that's going to be an issue that we're going to have to deal with. You know, it's coming whether you want it to come or not. I mean, it's, there are certain things that happen, and maybe if we all had our choice, you know, we wouldn't have them happen the way, that, the way they will. But those are things we're going to have to deal with. Constantly with the budget, we're dealing with, with roads. We'd like nothing better than every gravel road in the county get paved. Well, the fir very first week I was on the commission, I, I proposed that question to the county superintendent, <laughs> and he laughed at me, and he said, no, we already checked on that for the last 30, 40 years, and we can't afford it. So, so we try to make the best as we can with the money that's there, and and um, the bug trees. Hopefully, we can do we're, that program will continue to, to move forward. We think we made strides this year. Um, we spent a number of years trying to get the Forest Service to uh, go with us on it, and finally this year they did. So. Anyhow, there's a lot of a lot of things coming down the pipe. Well, obviously, money is going to be the big issue. Where's it going to come from? That's going to get the scary part with our national debt. It's going to impact everybody here pretty quick. We're going to be broke, so I don't know what we're going to do. But it's coming fast. Probably the end of this year. Experts have been talking about it. 
Other than that, I don't know. We have to start printing our own way, I guess it might work. They do it the dead, so they're only I think about seventy eight to eight dollars debt right now. But that's not counting unfunded liabilities. It comes up to about uh, six or seven hundred trillion dollars. We ain't got it. They ain't gonna get it from us, so I don't know what's gonna happen in ten years. But it won't be good. Uh, the last few comments I want to make here, I want to keep an open mind and respect for everyone uh, and, and have regard for their opinions and then be honest with the public, the media, and other officials and have the confidence in myself to run for a county commissioner and I want to separate emotions from responsibilities because this is a very responsible job and it affects the lives of a lot of people. About the bug issue, I have one opinion myself, is we might have to just plant some different kind of trees in the Black Hills, other than the pine trees. <laughs> because other trees are not affected by bugs. Thank you. Well, they don't